I'm here today as part of uh, a program called the Rock Stars of Science, where rock stars like Joe Perry, the lead guitarist of Aerosmith, and Sheryl Crow and Seal and others have agreed to promote the awareness of science in the U.S. Scientific funding is uh, too low for many of the diseases that are most uh, prevalent in this country, especially Alzheimer's disease. We need much more funding, especially federal funding. I've been an Aerosmith fan since I was a kid. I mean, I went to my first Aerosmith concert when I was probably 16 years old. And uh, Joe Perry was always one of my favorite guitarists. The powers that be got us together today uh, in Washington. We did a live unplugged song with uh, Francis Collins, who's the director of the NIH. We had some discussions about uh, how similar the creative process is in music and in science. That, you know, in both cases, uh, you try not to be too derivative. You want to do novel thinking and thinking out of the box. With the Cure Alzheimer's Fund support, we have finished the first phase of the Alzheimer's Genome Project. We screened the entire human genome, all of the chromosomes that make up our genome, and we looked for all of the genes that contribute to the risk for Alzheimer's. Every new gene we find teaches us something new about the disease and gives us another angle about drug discovery and novel therapeutics. We would think we would be pouring more money into Alzheimer's research and funding but Alzheimer's only receives a little over $400 million a year in funding, which is really a drop in the bucket. Congress and the federal government needs to realize that as baby boomers are aging, we're going to have an unprecedented number of Alzheimer's yeah, cases yeah. in this country. Uh, I think that uh, research is uh, back on the road you know, to being the, the kind of the cutting edge defense that we put in place against these diseases ravaging families all across America and all across, all across the world. The world is waiting for us to find yeah. solution as well. If we spend the money on research today, we'll be able to save nine dollars uh, in the costs of the healthcare system that uh, treating an Alzheimer's patient uh, yeah. will ultimately require in expenditures. So, the, so that's kind of the what my mother used to say before she got Alzheimer's, she would always say work smarter, not harder. Yeah. Cure Alzheimer's Fund is the best place to go with research contributions for a very simple reason. All of the money all of it goes to research, nothing else. Our approach is very, very defined. We have a roadmap that says, let's learn from past success. When we found these initial Alzheimer's genes two decades ago, that's still driving all of our research. Yet we know that they only account for about a third of Alzheimer's genetics. Let's find the rest of the genes, figure out what they do wrong, or in some cases do right, learn about the disease from those genes, and then come up with novel therapeutics. And Cure Alzheimer's Fund is, is supporting all of that type of research.